Hello, inclusive leaders. Welcome back to Leader Tips from Lead at Any Level. I'm Amy C. Wanninger, the Inclusion Catalyst. This week, we're busting the myth that nobody wants to work anymore, and we're trying to figure out what happened to 5 million missing workers. Now, last summer, it was reported that there were 5 million more open positions than people available to fill those jobs, meaning if everybody looking for work found a job, we would still have 5 million vacant positions. So I did some research into what happened. And one of the things that's happened, although the data has not quite caught up yet, is that service sector jobs started rising in 2021. Now, what this meant was people who were working full-time or working multiple part-time jobs were still living possibly below a livable wage. And so we're actually living in poverty despite being fully employed or more than fully employed. As service sector wages went up, anecdotally, we saw that people were quitting their second and third jobs so they could work one job full time. And while this doesn't necessarily mean that there, there's a new labor shortage, what it means is that it's possible, and I believe this is true, that we were underreporting our labor shortage because there were multiple people who were working more than one job in um, food service, hospitality industry, some of the uh, more minimum wage level jobs, as those wages started to rise, they were able to fill just one job instead of two or three, which I think means that there's a lot more open positions than people to work, even though it didn't look like it for a long time. So if somebody says nobody wants to work anymore, remind them that people want to work for a living wage. They don't want to be exploited. And they want to be able to work one job, not three, so they can spend time with their families and actually live their lives. If you want to join me to learn more myth busting around nobody wants to work anymore, please join me every day this week at 4 p.m. Eastern for another edition of Leader Tips.